Today's chore is to turn this moving van into a travel van again. Since we haven't been traveling very much, we need to go through each of the cabinets, go through everything and make sure we still need what's in here. And add the things that we've taken out to make room to move. You wouldn't believe how many times we've been from our old house to our new house with this moving van that most of you call a Revel. But we're tired of using it as a moving van. We want to go move around again in the country and see things and do things because like we told you a bunch of times before, we're not finished with that, are we? No, we're not. I may talk Lynn into taking a trip down to Jacksonville, Florida too, and we may need this area here to put a kayak in it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Okay. So here in the back, everything's out of it. There's no uh, homemade GLSS or anything back here. There's nothing on the floor. It's pretty bare bones, which comes in handy when you're moving, but not so much whenever you're trying to live in it. <laughs> this area, not so much. Stuff everywhere. We've got to decide what to keep, what to take with us. Here, let me show you up on top too. Fan, we have our Wii Boost, we have power, and it's a mess. The over cab storage, not much up here. We need to make better use of that. And in the front, well, we've got Maggie's little chariot seat without her cushion, and we've got everything here. We need to go through that. There's also storage above each one of the visors. And we make really good use of that space as we're rolling down the road. But during moving times, well, we've done a really bad job of keeping that organized. So as you know, we paused the channel. We've been working hard, but over the next few hours, we're gonna show you what we have to do from the top of this van to the bottom of it to get it ready to roll down the road again. Because unless you travel all the time, this is gonna to happen to you. You're gonna to need to look at your traveling device, your RV, and make sure it still fits what you're wanting to do. Last time we were out in it, it was really hot. This time, maybe it'll be really cool. Who knows? It comes to cleaning. I have a master cleaner that I, I sleep cleaner. with every night. One of the things I like to do is take all the dishes out and all the silverware out and take it inside and run it through the dishwasher and make sure it gets nice and clean. doing the inside I'm gonna work on the outside and see if the storage box that we have connected with our Al Van Sherpa is still set up the way we need it and the way we want it to travel make sure I don't need to restock anything that's in there so to start with this is how it looks we still have our griddle on top we have things we need to griddle connected to the side with magnet hooks we have this really neat little thing that i used to use on my kayak that i keep a knife and we keep some uh, lighters and other things in there we have a shovel and that's what rides on this back wall on the inside we have a beach blanket we have our anderson levelers we have this dome that we use when we're griddling to add a little bit of steam. We have two different uh, hammocks that we use and we love using those things. And the next one down, we have a carrier for wood. We have a little bitty cross saw. We have the uh, paper towels we keep in here. And this is a thermos cell that we use all the time and keep the bugs down. Fire starters and well, that's pretty much it for that. This area has the electric cable that we very rarely use, but when we do, we always try to use it with the surge protector. It has the water hose that we use most of the time. And then in the back, back there, you can see we have the little blue one that extends that out if we need to. We also have an ax that we ride with and a KDF carbon RV water filter. They're not the best that you can get, but they're fine for our needs. We're gonna need to order another one of these because it's been in here for a long time and we'll need to replace it. That's pretty awesome. Just one thing that I'm gonna have to buy and replace and we'll be ready to use things that we use on the outside of the van, just as they were the last time we went on a trip. Pretty cool. So, 
Some of you may be asking, oh, and you lazy bum, why are you not helping? Well, I'm doing everything on the outside that I can because Lynn and I have learned the hard way. Two people cannot be inside the van cleaning at the same time. You just get in each other's way. So I've done the front while she's in the, the back in the middle of the van. Now she's doing the final vacuum. The next step will be to set it back up. There's not much I can do until she gets that finished. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> That's a big word, isn't it? My grandfather used to say, if frogs had wings, they wouldn't bump their butts. But where will we go? We want to travel, but in our time of getting the house ready to move in here at the lake, things have gotten worse with COVID all around us. North Carolina ranks number three right now in COVID cases, followed only by South Carolina at number two, and then just a little bit uh, north of that, Georgia, and number one. So where do we head? I'm not sure we should head anywhere. Do you guys wrestle with the same question in your minds as you decide to travel? You know, every place we want to go, we want to find water, seclusion, and nature, and enjoy something. We have that right here, so it makes it really hard to risk our health and the health of our family by getting out and traveling. So I'm not sure what we'll do. I'm betting We'll find a dirt road somewhere way off away from everyone and we'll stock up on food and diesel and everything we need and we'll head up there somewhere in the hills and we'll hide out for a little bit and then we'll come back here and get in the water. I wish folks would wear their mask. I wish this thing was over, but I bet I'm not alone in that. Let's see where we go. You can't turn the tide Let the water go where it wants Self beneath. 